both Ubuntu Unity 25.04 and Ubuntu Kalin 25.04. Build on the Plucky Puffin Foundation, but target different audiences and workflows. Ubuntu Unity 25.04 Released on April 17, 2025 Preserves the classic Unity 7.7 .7 experience While pulling in all of Ubuntu's 25.04 core advances Including Linux kernel 6.14 And systemd version 257.4 Ubuntu Kylin 25.04 Which arrived on April 18, 2025 Centers around the UK UI desktop and layers on Unix kernel optimizations and a modern APT 3.0 solver for a smooth, China focused desktop experience. Now, let's first talk about the release overview. Both flavors are an interim release of Ubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin, supported for 9 months until January 2026. Under the hood, they share Linux kernel 6.14. Systemd version 257.4 Upgraded toolchains and libraries Let's go through one by one of everything Linux kernel 6.14 Featuring the new SCADXT eBPF based scheduling framework and the NT-Sync driver for improved Windows compatibility under Wine or Proton Systemd version 257.4 Which removes UTEMP support and deprecates System V in its scripts in preparation for version 258. Upgraded toolchains and libraries. From GCC 15 snapshot to Python 3.13.3 and glibc 2.41. Now let's talk about the desktop environments. Unity 7.7 .7 for Ubuntu Unity. Ubuntu Unity 25.04 sticks with the Unity 7.7. .7. Delivering the signature left hand launcher, HUD, and global menu layout that long time Unity fans appreciate. Plans to adapt Lumiri, the mobile Unity variant, remain on hold. So, Unity 7.7 .7 is the desktop environment of record for this release. Now, UK UI, which is for Ubuntu Kalin. Ubuntu Kalin 25.04 debuts with the UK UI desktop environment designed for visual polish and ease of use UK UI offers a familiar start menu paradigm a customizable control center and panel layout turned for productivity now let's talk about the performance and core components first the kernel and init system both flavors leverage Linux 6.14 with features such as the NT-Sync window sync driver, ARM64 desktop ISOs, and eBPF-based schedulers. The upgrade to systemd version 257.4 streamlines boot time responsiveness and phases out legacy in its scripts. Now let's talk about the graphics and multimedia. Ubuntu Unity includes Piper 1.2, the Mesa 25 graphics stack, and NVIDIA Dynamic Boost support for optimized gaming and multimedia workloads. Now, Ubuntu Kylin enhances GPU handling with a DMEM C group for memory management, an AMD XDNA driver for AMD NPUs, fuse based IOU ring communication, and BTRFS RAID 1 read balancing. Now, let's talk about the default applications and libraries. Ubuntu Unity ships with the Firefox 137, LibreOffice 25.2, Python 3.13, OpenSSL 3.4.1, and new TLS 3.8.9 for a secure up-to-date desktop. Ubuntu Kylin mirrors these base apps and further solidifies core libraries with glibc 2.41, Rust 1.84, and OpenJDK 24GA+, an early access 25 snapshot. Now let's talk about the installation and upgrades. Ubuntu Unity users can install from the standard Ubuntu 25.04 ISO or upgrade directly from 24.10 via software updater or do release upgrade command. 
Ubuntu Kylin provides both terminal based sudo do release upgrade along with third party dash t and graphical software updater paths ensuring third party repos remain compatible now let's talk about the known issues ubuntu unity fixes a boot instability bug that affected calamaris based installers in kubuntu and lubuntu ubuntu kylin reports a lock screen setting crash inconsistent win plus e or win plus p shortcut behavior and other minor ui glitches now let's talk about the community and support ubuntu unity resources are available at ubuntuunity.org website with bug reports handled via launchpad and discussions on the ubuntu community hub ubuntu kylin offers support through its multilingual site matrix channels mailing lists and launchpad bug trackers catering to both english and chinese users so which flavor should you choose opt for ubuntu unity 25.04 if you want the classic unity interface with a streamlined workflow and hood integration choose ubuntu kylin 25.04 if you prefer a highly customizable china focused desktop with specialized system level optimizations and dedicated local support that's it for the video thanks for watching peace out